What's going on, y'all, man? Game one reaction. Knicks get the dub on the road. Knicks playing some really good basketball right now. What I can say is the Knicks, as much as you want to say they should have got Donovan Mitchell, the Knicks got a phenomenal player in Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson, I'm not going to lie to y'all, is a closer, right? He missed a couple shots here towards the end, but you put the ball in his hands, he's going to exploit the mismatch. He's going to get to his sweet spot in the, the mid-range pocket, and he's going to make the jumper, or he's going to slash to the paint and get his uh, get a layup off as well. So really impressed with the Knicks in this, this, this um, matchup. What I'm going to say is that I think this is going to be a seven-game series. This unequivocally is the best series in the East. Now, remember, I said in the East. I didn't say the West. This is going to be the best series round one in the East because both of these teams are evenly matched. It's going to be a phenomenal series. And I'm going to get some love to Julius Randle who had a double-double. Didn't shoot the ball well, but he did other things well. Crashed the glass, got the offensive rebound towards the end. And, you know, really was there for his team. Is knocking out shots early in the game. Also, Josh Hart. Josh Hart had 17 points in this game. Very efficient shooting night for him. 8 for 11. Knicks looked really good offensively. Their bigs played well, I thought, in this game. They really made it tough for the Cavaliers. Now, let's go to the Cavaliers, right? Their bigs, to me, did not look good at all. Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, if they're going to play like that, the Cavs are not going to win this series. They did not play good at all. I believe, let's look at the stats real quick for... Uh, Mobley. Mobley was 4 for 13 in this game, 8 points, 11 rebounds. That's not going to get it done. And it did seem like Julius Randle just took it to him and was more physical than he was. He was missing way too many close, easy backs around the rim. And they're going to need a little bit more from Isaac Okoro, too. I know he starts, but they're going to need some more uh, contributions from him. And I think Mitchell, despite him playing well, dropping 38 points, his most, the most ever in a um, Cavaliers debut for a player. They're going to need a little bit more from Darius Garland, too. I like Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell is great. He's a star. But they're going to need more than just Donovan Mitchell in order to win this series, right? No bench points, really. Only 14 points from the bench in this one. They're going to need a little bit more, and they're going to need some other players to step up for them. I think Garland is going to have to be able to play off Mitchell a little bit better, be more aggressive, as Jalen Rose pointed out, and look for his shot. I think that's going to be the way to win the series. So a must win, I think, game two at home. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, they played tough, but they're going to need more contributions from the bigs, more contributions from Garland in order to win. But this is going to be an exciting series. I'm not going to lie. And I think the Knicks made a good move in getting Jalen Brunson. They might need their, the Knicks might be one one piece away from potentially making a deep playoff run. You know, one piece, and I think that's at either the shooting guard or the small forward uh, spot. I like their bench. I like their death, but they're like one piece away from you know potentially playing in the East Conference Finals. You know, maybe even in the finals as well. But this is going to be a great series. I'm calling a seven-game series between both of these teams. Evenly matched. Great basketball.